Hey yo, what's up bro? Today we're going to be talking about 90s aesthetics and I'm going to focus mainly on like the kind of basic 90s girl aesthetic and the 90s grunge aesthetics because I feel like those were the most requested but if you want me to do a part 2, let me know in the comments below and as always let me know what videos you want to see in the future what like outfit ideas you want to see in the future as well because I want to do some more outfit videos as well and subscribe if you aren't already follow me on Instagram at the dress relief and on TikTok at dress relief and let's get started First off, let's talk about some general trendy items that you would see across multiple 90s aesthetics including the girl next door basic girl kind of aesthetic, including the grunge aesthetic, and you know, all other kinds of 90s aesthetics there were. First of all, you would see a lot of slip dresses. I feel like in the 90s is when we really started to see like lingerie as an outfit, as an actual piece in an outfit rather than just lingerie or underwear, and slip dresses is where that really came into play. Another thing you'd see a lot is leggings, flannel shirts, especially in the 90s grunge aesthetic, which I'll talk about later, a lot of leopard print as well, baggy jeans, oversized sweaters, so that kind of baggy, loose silhouette in general, as well as denim from denim jackets to denim vests to denim jeans. So first off, let's talk about the basic 90s girl look, and I don't mean basic in a mean or offensive way, I just mean like the kind of girl next door look you would typically see. So for inspiration, I feel like Rachel Green from Friends and Topanga from Boy Meets World would be perfect inspiration for this look. I feel like their styles are the perfect balance between feminine and comfy and casual. So if you're looking for outfit ideas, definitely look up their outfits. But in terms of what you would typically see, I think you would see a lot of denim from denim vests, to denim skirts, to denim jackets, to just denim jeans and overalls. For example, you could layer a denim vest over a t-shirt. I feel like that's a look I saw a lot from 90 shows. And you would see a lot of button fronts, like button down tops, button down skirts, button down dresses even. I really love those like button down pinafore dresses that you would layer over like a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt. I actually just got one myself and I'm super excited to style it. Uh, you can also wear crop tops, t-shirts for like a very cute but comfy and casual look and you can layer those under overalls. I definitely saw a lot of overalls in the 90s. I mean, I wasn't born till the late 90s, but I saw it a lot in 90s shows that I watched. And you'd also see a lot of floral print skirts and dresses, perhaps paired with a denim jacket or with a t-shirt layered underneath a spaghetti strap dress. Um, but when you're looking for floral prints, uh, definitely look for like the smaller, tiny floral prints, like ditzy floral prints rather than, you know, big floral prints, because I feel like the little tiny flowers was more reminiscent of the 90s. You could also incorporate that schoolgirl aesthetic that I feel like was also really popular in the 90s and also kind of has that girl next door kind of vibe. So bring in some plaid skirts, some turtlenecks, uh, maybe even some Mary Janes. And I feel like turtlenecks and a little A-line skirt was such a classic 90s look. And you can also add some tights, so like a turtlenecks, mini skirt, and tights look. Such a cute look that still looks so cute today and like a classic look that I always reach for when I don't know what to wear. For shoes other than Mary Jane's, you could also look for sneakers or even those like jelly sandals that was so popular in the 90s. It's like the epitome of nostalgia. And speaking of nostalgia, you could also wear some scrunchies. I feel like those were such a 90s staple. And in terms of a color palette, I definitely look for some brighter colors and I also see a lot of red, white, and blue which is very patriotic, but I don't know. I feel like I noticed a lot of red, white, and blue, especially with the blue denim. I feel like that's a pretty typical color palette for a 90s um, outfit as well. Next, I want to talk about 90s grunge and kinder horror. I feel like grunge in the 90s was very minimalistic and kind of romantic. I feel like Courtney Love really 
brought this romantic style of grunge to life, which is also often referred to as kinder horror. So if you're looking for inspiration here, definitely look at Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain's outfits. So some typical items you see would be silky dresses and like an A-line cut and like slip dresses. Like I mentioned earlier, they were super popular in the 90s and that definitely branched out to 90s grunge as well. And like I mentioned when talking about the girl next door aesthetic, you can also wear floral print dresses and skirts but maybe in a darker color palette and pair it with like a denim jacket or something like that. I feel like that could also pass as a 90s grunge vibe. You would also see a lot of leopard print, also a generally trendy print in the 90s like I mentioned earlier. Some distressed jeans or instead of a silk dress, you can wear a silk shirt, maybe like Speaking of the 90s, that's my Tamagotchi I have to attend to. Anyways, you could also wear a silk shirt instead of a silk dress, so maybe like a silk button-down shirt for example. And of course, flannels were also very popular for 90s grunge, so layer some flannels in your outfit as well. And if it's a colder day, you can also throw on an oversized sweater and a baggy beanie. And for a more casual look, you probably see a lot of band tees and leggings as well. For shoes, I would go for some combat boots, Mary Janes, or platform shoes, or even just a comfy pair of sneakers. I feel like grunge isn't really about looking tidy and put together, so just like wear whatever you want, wear whatever is comfy. And for Kinder Horse specifically, you'd also see a lot of baby doll dresses and pastel colors and lace accents and just really bringing more of a feminine edge to grunge and pairing like the feminine silhouettes and feminine fabrics with darker colors and darker, rougher textures. And another thing to keep in mind when shopping for 90s grunge and kinder whore is it's a very thriftable aesthetic, not only because it's from the 90s and lots of these items are in thrift stores, but it just goes with the whole like point of grunge. Grunge started with an anti-consumerist philosophy and thrifting and DIYing things and just not trying to look neat and tidy but just putting together whatever you want is kind of the whole point of grunge. So if you're going to go for this aesthetic, I feel like buying secondhand really is the way to go. But that's pretty much all I wanted to cover today. I only went over a couple 90s aesthetics but there's other ones like 90s hip hop for example. So if you want me to go over more 90s aesthetics because I really like 90s fashion in general, I feel like there's a lot that can be covered there. So if you want me to talk more about other 90s aesthetics, let me know in the comments and I'll do a part 2. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. And if you did, give it a like, comment down below what you want to see in the future, what aesthetics you want me to cover, and what outfit ideas you want me to cover. And subscribe, follow me on Instagram at the Dress Relief and on TikTok at Dress Relief. And I'll see you guys next time.